24th of November. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. You're joining me again for Bedroom Boogie in our Around the House in 80 Days series. So let's just get going with our warm up. You know what you're up to now. You might be picking up the pace a little or you might just be managing to do it for a little longer. That's absolutely fabulous. You might be mixing it up, you might be putting in some marching there as well, bringing arms in. It doesn't matter, just so long as you're getting your circulation going, you'll know what's right for you folks. I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a, it's not so much a jog, it's just a quick march on the spot this morning. You're just waking up and you're full of the joys. And some days you're just waking up and you think, do you know what? I need to do a nice easy day today. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to still find ways to move, even so. Identical if you're sitting, folks. I'll just join you for a moment. Yesterday we introduced a toe-tapping marching mix. But remembering that if you're on your bed it is harder to keep that upright posture. So really work on it and really pull that stomach in, get that spine back. And if you need to move further back in your bed and if you need to, use your hands to press into the bed to give you more stability. There you go. Now I know you'll be doing slightly longer work uh, warm-ups when you are practicing on your own but for the purposes of our time today we're just going to come now into a lovely neutral position. That glorious stance seated or standing where we just reset, realign Lengthen, pull our stomach muscles in, breathe and smile. Well, our first move today is going to be some of these trunk twist moves again. These are very, very important moves. So if you're standing, you take one arm behind you, you can feel that shoulder going back now, bring the other arm across and turn to look over the shoulder of the arm that's behind. And the other side. If you'd like to keep doing that, please, if you try to do five to each side, but hold them for that little bit longer. If you're sitting, same again, you're putting one hand behind you because I'm on the bed, I'm using my bed to anchor me this time. Bringing my other hand across and looking over that shoulder. So what we're doing here, folks, is we're getting our upper backs slightly more um, flexible. We're getting our neck, necks slightly more flexible, but we're also, we're also getting that arm and shoulder behind us. And there's all sorts of things that you need that for. Putting on coats, especially if it's the second sleeve that's going in or blouses or shirts or whatever, is one of the main ones that you would need that lovely backward movement for your shoulder for. Keep going with that if you're sitting. I'm just going to join you if you're standing again. It's a lovely one to do first thing in the morning because upper back probably hasn't moved much while you've been sleeping so it's a lovely one to do just to get yourself all lovely and stretched out and flexible but I would always say do that one after you've done your warm-up once you've got your circulation going so that you just do have that little bit more flexibility um, on your side when you're trying to do it. Our next move today is going to be our lovely Tai Chi move the one that we've been doing for spring cleaning 
but we've also been doing it for when we're hoovering. So, foot one step forward, other foot out at a right angle, and you just transfer your weight from one foot to the other, one leg to the other. Lovely. And I'm looking at my window while I'm doing this this morning. I'm not, I'm not combining it with any household chore. I'm just doing it because it's first thing in the morning and I'm just wakening up and getting myself lovely and flexible for the day. I do have some sparrows out there just waiting for me to go out and fill up those bird feeders, which I'll be doing straight after this. And I'll be putting out some fresh water as well. And remember, if you're standing or sitting, you're going to be changing your legs. So the front foot goes forward, the back foot turns out to 45 degrees and you just start to move your balance between the two legs, backwards and forwards. And it's a lovely one to do when you're sitting as well. It's the same posture for the legs and you're just getting that gorgeous hip mobility. In. Because of the way your legs are positioned, you're just so stable for this move. It's just glorious to feel that stability. And you should feel your upper leg muscles doing a bit of work. I can feel mine doing a bit of work. Especially the leg that is turned out to 45 degrees. And I am remembering to keep pulling my stomach in, to keep my spine long and to look ahead or off to the side because we've done our lovely neck warm up. Oh, but the main thing is to enjoy the move for what it is. It's glorious, this move. You can see why it's part of Tai Chi, can't you? Lovely. Soothing, rocking move. Great stuff. Doing my sit to stand to get back into standing. And my next move today is going to be our flamingo swings. And we're going to combine it with our tandem stands and balance. Now, if you're standing, remember the whole flamingo posture is lovely and tall, driving up from one leg, keeping your posture tall, Taking the other leg behind you with just a bend at the knee. And then you're going to start bringing in a swing. So you bring your leg forward and back, forward and back. And you can feel your hips opening. It's really important to keep driving through that other leg so that you're maintaining as upright a posture as you can. And you want to be swapping legs Lovely. And of course, if you're sitting, keep going with that, just alternating between legs. If you're sitting, you want to be practicing your knee, back of knee strengthener and your leg raise. And the same on the other side. Now, if you're sitting, I would suggest that maybe you try for five on each side so that the muscles on that side Get a lovely workout. Keeping your posture lovely and tall, you really are working a lot of your body when you're doing this in a seated position, as well as when you're doing it in the standing position. That's five, and then move on to the other side. Squeeze and lower, back of knee squeeze, raise and lower, back of knee squeeze, raise and lower. Two more. Lovely folks. And just to join you when you're standing again, you've remembered to keep your posture tall and you've remembered to keep your stomach in and to keep driving through the standing leg as you swing the other leg backwards and forwards. Such a good one for your hips. This one's so good for mobility in your hip area. 
Now our final move today is our tandem stance. Now this is another balance move. So you start off with one foot on the floor, you take the other foot and place it directly in front. I'm using support until I get my balance beautifully um, distributed. That's the word I'm trying for. <laughs> Uh, well, it is first thing in the morning, distributed between both legs. And then if I feel I can, I'm going to come down and just stand and hold my balance, not locking my knees, keeping focused on the balance going through both legs. So I'm not going back onto one leg, not going forward into the other. I am really working hard to keep myself tall, long and the balance evenly distributed can feel my ankles wobbling a little bit there. And if you're sitting, I'll, I'll try and do the sitting one on the bed for you so you can see, perhaps see it a little better. If you've got long legs like me, you can in fact do a tandem stance with um, one foot in front of the other. But, but if, you're, if you're not um, as tall as I am, you might find that you need to just do small half steps forward and small half steps backwards and just keep doing that. And by working your core, by keeping your upright posture while you're moving your legs, you're doing yourself the power of good for your stability while you're in that seated position. It would be so easy just to slump and tap your foot forward and then you're not really working anything because your chair's doing all the work. So really drive up into that good posture when you're taking those steps forward and you are going to just feel a million dollars. Okay, folks, that's it for this morning. Just let's go into our lovely cool down. I'm reminding you again about our telephone health and wellbeing friendship circles, which begin next week. And to register for those, you phone our switchboard number 033323. 2400 0333 2400 One more time. 033 0, 0, 0, 0. Oh, it's been a lovely morning so far. I hope the rest of your morning is beautiful and we'll see you at lunchtime and I hope that you phone our switchboard and join us for our circles, which begin next week. They'll run throughout December and January, just to help us um, give each other some support to just keep moving and maybe just chat through the odd um, health um, tip. Thank you everyone, take care, see you later.